In the last lesson, we learned to return the view using controller and route. In this lesson, we will learn to fetch the content from the database and return to the users. Do you remember we already created two sample blog posts using PHP Artisan Tinker in the earlier lessons? Let's get them. Inside index function, create a variable called blog. Now use blog facade double colon all function to get all the blocks from the database. You might be thinking I'm kidding, but no, I'm not kidding. It's that simple. Thanks to Laravel Eloquent. Now that all the blocks are available in the blog variable, let's pass it to our view using compact function. Let's name it blogs. Now in our views, we loop through each blogs. And this is how we write for each in Laravel with add sign in front. For each blogs as blog. We return blog title. Now save it and go to the browser and refresh the page. Uh, the error says that class blog not found in blog controller line 12. Let's get there. Here we need to use app slash blog on top of our class so that Laravel knows what blog facade stands for. By the way, facade is similar to a class that provides interface to services inside the container. Back to the browser and wow, we got the content from the database. Great. Let's put the title inside H2 and also return the blog body or content. This is cool, isn't it? Here, look at the created at date. The blog with my first blog title was created first. To return the latest blog to the view, all we need to do is use the latest get function in our controller. We learned a lot in this lesson. Make sure you practice a few times before jumping to the next one.